what you gotta say? What the deal? How you feel? Not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, but don't be coming at me with that horse shit. Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, no shocker, I'm doing another Brandy Melville try on haul, but we're used to me wasting all my money. So, some of the stuff I got today is from Depop, some of it is from the Brandy website, and then I have one thing that I got from Urban Outfitters. I mentioned in my last video that I'm gonna start doing shout outs at the end of my video, so if you want a shout out of your Instagram or Depop or anything like that, um, just be subscribed, turn on post notifications, and comment down below. The comment doesn't have to be about the shout out, just make sure you comment anything and then put your Instagram or whatever. And I will be picking someone random every video and then putting it at the end, just because I love you guys and you're so sweet, so. Okay, let's get on into it. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got off the actual Brady website, not off Depop. So I only ordered a couple things because they were just things that I really wanted. So the first thing I got is the Elizabeth sweater. What you gotta say? What the deal? How you feel? Not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, but don't be coming at me with that horse shit. And like you know me, that's the worst shit. I know. So this had been one of my biggest ISOs on Depop for the longest time because I think it's adorable. It's just like such a cute little sweater to wear, like buttoned up with a little collared shirt underneath and a skirt or unbuttoned and just like more casual as a cardigan. These came back in stock on Brandy like a few weeks ago. So I just ordered it because all the ones I had seen on Depop were like kind of expensive. So I wanted to wait until it came back on the Brandy website and I am very, very happy with it. I think it's so adorable. The quality is like really good and I think the color are just so cute but yeah i'm really happy about this one okay and then also from the brandy site i got this little i think it's called the dana skirt in this like cream off-white color Dines and the coffee vince playing on the jbl they lay down go to sleep unless the sun is up think i'm wasting all this time feeling kind of stuck not enough reps on the chest who the f does legs now I love any skirts like this. I used to have like one like this that was in red that's American Apparel, but I sold it because it was a little too small for me. And I think this off-white cream is just so cute and it can be styled like a million different ways. The only problem with this is because my body type, like I carry most of my weight in my booty and my thighs. So this is like really hard to get up like over my butt. Then when I get it up, like it fits fine. Like the waist is even a little bit too big on me and like it zips up once I get it up and it's like on my waist. So if you have a similar body type, yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to get up and I feel like I'm gonna break it every single time. But that's something that's always been a little struggle for me is getting things that are big enough to fit over my butt and thighs, but then like tight enough to look good on my waist. So yeah, but the quality of this is really good. It almost feels like denim a little bit, but it's really thick and I just love the off-white cream color. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so then the other thing I got from the brand new website is this black headband. That's just like a necessity and I think it's really cute, but I somehow already lost it. I have no idea where I put it, so I'm dumb, but I'll find it. Yeah, it just looks like that. Okay, so then I got quite a few things from Depop that are brandy. I did spend honestly more money than I wanted to. I just kept seeing things that I really liked. I just went for it because I've been selling a lot on Depop. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not smart. Okay, so the first thing, this actually just came in the mail today. It is this like forest green oversized sweater. So it just has this little zip and the collar comes up a little bit. If you guys know me, you know that I love Brandy's crewnecks and hoodies more than any other place. I think it's the one thing they do perfectly and I just thought this was really cute and I think it would be really cute to style with like a little plaid skirt or just like leggings or something. It's just like a nice basic. Honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to like clear out my closet and sell or give away anything that I don't love and I don't wear all the time and I've sold a couple of my hoodies from other brands so I just wanted another sweater that I just loved. As I've said before, the quality of Brandy's sweaters is like better than anything else at their store. It's just like really heavy, good material, and the fit is always super cute. So I'm really excited about this one. I think it's so adorable. Okay, and then a few of you guys were asking about this one because um, I wore it one of my videos recently because all of this stuff is like over the last few weeks that I've gotten. So this is this, I don't know if you would consider this the Skylar tank or the Bell tank, but it is this brown floral Brandy tank. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a f 
Oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say what I've seen this a few times on Depop I think it's just so different from their other floral tanks I don't remember how much I paid for this I kind of think it was a little over what I would have hoped to pay They don't have this on the Brandy site And I haven't ever seen this in their stores And it's not as cropped, so I like that too And I think it's very adorable Okay, so a bunch of you guys were commenting Asking where I got this little collared shirt from Because I was wearing it under one of my crew necks. I know So I got this off Depop and I've been Googling like Brandy Melville collared tops and the only thing that comes up is the Caroline top. But I know this isn't the Caroline top because the Caroline top has buttons all the way down and this just has them on the top. So I don't know what this is called. If you know, please tell me because so many people are asking. I think this one's a lot softer than the Caroline top and it's like a little bit of a thicker material. So if you guys know the name of this one, let me know. It is a really good basic and I love layering these under sweaters. Yeah, I got it off Depop for I think like 20 dollars or something which is a pretty good deal but so yeah i'm sorry i don't know the name i've literally been looking so hard and i can't find it okay so the next one i can't really tell if i love or hate this one i bought it because the color is so so pretty and i got it off depop but it is brandy and it's just this little knit purple sweater down, yeah. i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you tell me why and I love the color. I think it's so cute. I just like don't think it's very flattering on me because it kind of like puffs out at the bottom and the arms just don't look very good on me. So I might end up selling this on Depop because I don't know if I love it, but I'll try styling it a little bit more and see if it grows on me. I think it's really cute for just like layering or with a little skirt or something. And um, it's super soft and the material is really good. Okay, so then for the thing that I got from Urban, I literally ordered only this from Urban, which is so dumb because like why would I spend shipping on one single item when I could get more stuff? But I've said this before, I don't really shop at Urban Outfitters anymore because it's just so incredibly overpriced. The only times I'll get something from there is if it's like it's like one thing that I'm completely obsessed with, I will spend the money. So I've seen these t-shirts quite a bit and I think they're so cute because they're so oversized. So I literally just opened this out of the package. I haven't tried it on yet. It's just this oversized sublime t-shirt that just has like little holes in it and stuff I just think it's so adorable. I love t-shirt dresses like so so much and you might be thinking go to Goodwill and get one and make it distressed. I would but this is kind of just something that I was like okay I just need it. It's like perfectly oversized and just so cute and I looked on Depop for these because I was like okay let me save some money and not buy from Urban but I think there was only one and it wasn't in the US and like it was really expensive so I, I don't know. I just thought you know what I'm just gonna get it because I really think I'm gonna love it. I'm excited that I did because I love oversized stuff especially in quarantine it's literally all I've been wearing so I know I spend my money and it's I, I, I have a problem if I didn't sell my stuff on Depop I literally would have zero money like zero so someone commented asking if I could do like a how to run your Depop account if you guys want to see that I can do just like an in-depth how I sell my clothes on Depop, like how I ship them, how I make the labels, how I take pictures of them, all that stuff, because it's a really good way to make extra money. So that is everything I got in the last few weeks. I just like combined it together because I wanted it to be like an actual sufficient amount of clothes to do a try on haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. We are almost at 9K subscribers. I'm doing a massive giveaway video for 10K subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and hit the post notifications so that you know every time I upload Upload. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to and comment down below so we can talk and be friends And yeah guys your support means the absolute world to me and I will see you next time